السلام علیکم اور فرینڈز آج ہم آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کریں گورنمنٹ الیکٹرک بائک سبسڈی ول اونلی ہیلپ ففٹین تھاؤزینڈ پیپل رپورٹ دا انٹرسٹ ان الیکٹرک ٹو اینڈ تھری وہیکلس ان پاکستان از رائزنگ ایٹ اے ان پریسیڈنٹ ریٹ ڈیو ٹو دا پروسپیکٹ آف فیول کاسٹ سیونگس اینڈ انسینٹیو فرام دا فیڈرل گورنمنٹ آ سورس پرائیوی ٹو دا matter told a business record that if more than 15,000 applicants apply for the federal government's e-bikes and rickshaw schemes, the Prime Minister's Youth Business and Agriculture Loan Scheme, PMYB and ALS will hold a ballot. On April 13, 2023, the Ministry of Industries and Production, MOIP, informed the Economic Coordination Committee, ECC, that federal government had allowed the import of electric vehicle parts at 1% customs duty and 1% sales tax to facilitate EV manufacturing in the country. The Automotive Industry Development and Export Policy AIDEP 2021-2026 clause 3.3 included incentives on the import of electric 2 and 3 wheelers parts. In its EV policy 2019, the Ministry of Climate Change set a 50% EV penetration target for two and three wheeler sales by 2030. The Prime Minister formed a committee to study e-bike visibility, viability and incentive structures to make them affordable on December 28, 2022. The federal government received a comprehensive e-bike presentation based on the committee's recommendations. The presentation's key data is as follows. More than 26.3 million motorcycles in Pakistan overall, more than 2 million motorcycles are produced locally. Existing bikes on the road consume $3 billion in fuel annually. EDB has issued 22 manufacturing licenses to e-bike manufacturers. 7,377 electric motorcycles We are manufactured in 2021 to 2022. E-bike with the lithium batteries and specific standards cost around 1,90,000 initially. Their adoption was low due to high prices and quality concerns. Four financing schemes were proposed to quickly and sustainably increase e-bike and rickshaw demand in the country. Scheme one, cash purchase model, the government shares. 1 lakh through banks as processing agents and consumer lump sum shares 90,000 from own sources. Scheme 2 Price sharing model 1 lakh on sharing basis government share 90%, customer share 10%, 90,000 as loan from banks 24 months. 50% credit guaranteed by the government to banks. Scheme 3 Easy loan model 30% down payment by consumer 36 months loan tenor 23% interest rate with the government picking up 50% of the interest rate over a 3 year leasing period. 50% credit guarantee by the government. Scheme 4 PMYB and ALS model for e-bikes and e-rickshaws clean loan up to 0.5 million is available under tire. 1T1 of PMYB and ALS on personal guarantee at 0% markup. Loan payment in 3 years. Due to financial constraints, finance division rejected the first 3 proposal. The finance division comments prompted a fourth option which was extensively discussed with all stakeholders. The MOIP stated that fourth scheme is the best way to boost domestic demand domestic demand for e-bikes and e-rickshaws given the current economic climate and financial resources. The fourth scheme proposes using PMYB and ALS funds to promote e-bikes and e-rickshaws in the country. So friends, امید کرتے ہیں یہ انفارمیشن آپ کے لیے انتہائی اہم ہوگی اس طرح کی مزید معلوماتی اور انفارمیٹو ویڈیوز حاصل کرنے کے لیے ہمارے چینل کو لائک اینڈ سبسکرائب کر دیجئے تاکہ آنے والی 
तमाम तरह इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज आप तक बसानी और टाइम पर पहुंच सके थैंक्स एंड अल्लाह हाफिज